Hi everyone, so today I wanted to talk about a team that I've been thinking about for quite some time. Why making small and achievable games are important. Now what does that mean? This means that making small games or working on small projects is super important. Now I'm not saying that working on a big project is less important, but hear me out. Before I started developing games, I always had these big ideas for type of games that I wanted to make. I wanted to make games such as 2D role playing games or open world games. These type of games are massive and super complex and it usually takes long amount of times to release and develop. At least in my opinion, you usually get burned down when trying to work on these massive projects and complex systems. So this brings me to the main point of the video. Why are small projects better to work on than the bigger ones? Okay, so what I really like about small projects is that the actual implementation or complexity of the project is way smaller than compared to the bigger project. I know right? Who could have thought? Anyway, what I meant was that when you are deciding to make a smaller project, your scope is not as big and you can choose to start working on less complex features to add to the game first. This allows you to work on the game in tiny small steps which then prevents you from burning out. I feel that instead of trying to achieve and create something big straight away from the beginning, starting with small and achievable goals are always better. In my own experience, in the past, I used to always dream big and have these big ideas for a dream game that I would want to make. Almost all of my past projects that I was working on have failed. I used to always start with the most complex features that I would want to implement first. And I kept working on them for a long time, not really knowing what I was doing. And I was trying to figure out most of it along the way. I would always reach a certain point where I would get stuck and could not figure out how to make or implement a specific feature into the game. At some point I would just get too frustrated and would just scrap the whole idea of implementing the feature or I would even scrap the whole game altogether. After my many failed attempts at starting and actually finishing developing a game, I have decided that I will try to make smaller projects instead of focusing on big idea projects. From that point on, by creating small and achievable projects, I have managed to actually finish a couple of them. And by trying to implement the smaller or less complex features first, I have improved my coding skills further. Now guys, this was just my personal experience and opinion based on what I've done in the past. I was not trying to say that working on bigger projects is entirely bad and that you shouldn't work on them. I learned some valuable experience when working on bigger projects too. I just feel that working on smaller games, at least in my experience, was more beneficial. Okay, so now that we're done with the main part of the video, we can move on to the second part. As you may notice, I have been away for quite some time now. It's been a whole month since my last video. What happened was that I went on a holiday and I was taking some time off from work and from YouTube as well. It was a really nice holiday and I got some time to rest. But now I'm back and I'm motivated more than ever to work on some indie games. So, what I've been doing just before I went on a holiday? And what are the plans for the future? Well, just before I went on a holiday, I was working on a 48 hour game project that me and Paper Cuts were developing for quite some time now. If you don't know who Papercut is, he's an awesome indie developer, you should follow him. I will leave a link to his channel and Twitter account in the description. Basically, the game that we're developing is a tower defense game that is set in the future times. The whole theme of the game is based on an apocalyptic version of the earth, where giant robots and tanks have ruled over the world. You play as the last defense for the humankind. Your whole purpose is to protect the last supply vehicle that is traveling on the road towards the last human city. There's a big problem though, the enemy robots and tanks are trying to destroy what's left of the last human race. They're sending their troops to destroy the supply vehicle so that they could never reach the last city. You are in charge of placing defense towers and machinery along the path to protect the supply vehicle from the enemy troops. Okay, that's the only information that I'm gonna give out now. I will try not to spoil any more details about the game as I want to keep the storyline of the game hidden just a tiny bit longer. But that is the general idea of the game. Okay, now the other project that I've been working on in a spare time just before I left on the holiday. I have decided to make a game based on the um, annoying ad games you can see anywhere. You know those ads of games that look one way, but when you actually download the game, the game looks way different. So I've started more work on it. And after some time and thought, I decided to make an endless running type of a game. Where the whole point of the game is to run from one point to another while trying to avoid obstacles. Now the main character and team of the game is going to be orientated around outer space. I have already made up some 3D models that you can see on the screen right now. I think it's all coming nicely together, but there's still tons of work to do before I can fully release the game. I'm planning to implement many different cosmetics such as different player models, various equipable items and design tons of different levels too. I don't really want to spoil the game any further so we'll stop talking about the game here. But once the game is finished, I will be releasing a full video on the development and the final result of the game also. 
Okay, so to conclude this, I'm working on two different games right now. One game is a tower defense type of a game, and the other one is an endless runner. I know it's quite ironic for that the whole point of this video was to uh, make a point that working on smaller projects is better, and I'm currently working on two. But I feel like these projects are quite small in scope, and I'm super excited to work on them both. The next video may take longer than usual, as I'm currently working on both of these games. I will try to upload some kind of a devlog videos for these games, I'm not sure about that though, depends on how much time I have. I might also try to stream as much as I can and whenever I can, again depending on how much free time I will have. Anyways, as usual, thanks for watching, be sure to follow my Twitter, Instagram and join my Discord server. See you next time.